uh, welcome to my channel uh, before we proceed to the video uh, I would like you guys to tell you to subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it today we are going to talk about uh, Castigliano theorem Castigliano theorem states that the total strain energy or internal energy in a beam with respect to deflection at any point is equal to load applied at that point the main thing where we have to note at this statement is strain energy is equal to load applied at that point okay strain energy with respect to deflection strain energy with respect to deflection at any point equal to load applied at the same point instead of explaining the theory i will directly like to lead you guys towards the numerical problem here we go for it okay here I have a numerical problem which has asked us to determine deflection at point B due to load 150 kilonewton okay there is a uniformly distributed load throughout the beam whose magnitude is equal to 30 kilonewton per meter 30 kilonewton per meter and the values of E and I are also given in the figure okay since we are asked to calculate deflection we instead of deriving this relation for delta B it is better to memorize this relation okay it is better to memorize the relation according to the formula according to the formula we have to calculate moment and its partial derivative with respect to load the partial derivative uh, with respect to load it is not a big deal after you calculate the moment the major findings of Castigliano theorem for deflection is to calculate moment for segments we are going to go through it mm, okay let me tell you that the general idea of Castigliano theorem is that the load at any point where deflection is to be computed is replaced by a generalized load P it, it can be anything but for uniformity let us say it is replaced by P okay uh, in this case we replace 150 kilonewton by load P since we are about to calculate deflection at point B and the 150 kilonewton load is acted upon B point okay now as in the figure to calculate reaction at support A and at support C we take a clockwise moment we take clockwise moment at point A and at point C as equals to zero in this way on taking clockwise moment as uh, I've shown it and uh, as I've shown it in this way we get reaction at A and reaction at C are equals to 2p over 3 plus 135 kilonewton and p over 3 plus 135 kilonewton these are the reaction that I have calculated and I have shown you in the figure in the slideshow as the values are also written there okay now okay it is simply the figure drawn after calculating the reaction you can also tell it uh, maybe free body diagram the okay let me tell you something about that X I have shown to you you know uh, it is you know, the arrow of X towards B from A and C represent that the origin of segment AB and BC are A and C that is the origin of segment AB is A and the origin of segment BC is C and this both move towards B okay they both are moving towards B okay now I have got a small chart here in this segment AB okay let us talk about AB for now in the segment AB taking A as origin as I have already said taking A as origin and taking positive clockwise moment taking positive clockwise moment at distance X from point A we get this result for moment okay we get this moment of result and the fifth column 2 by 3 into X is only the 
partial derivative of moment of segment AB at for distance X okay it's for the distance X similarly in segment BC and taking C as origin and taking anti-clockwise moment as positive moment we get this moment result okay uh, in the segment AB we have taken uh, clockwise moment as positive but in CB section we have taken anti-clockwise moment as positive this is the only the idea that if you take positive moment for clockwise direction at other in at one end then you have to take the negative the, the, that moment that direction of moment you have to take negative for the other end okay this is same the idea you can take uh, positive uh, you can take a moment as negative for clockwise moment in segment CB also but it is the same thing that we consider anti-clockwise moment as positive okay below there is uh, given a relation we will use to compute deflection at point B as now we have already calculated M and del M by del B okay that is moment and its partial derivative with respect to load that is P now okay in the relation I have already said you before in the relation after substituting the value of M and del M by del P we have computed before and also there is respective limit on the integration Okay. on the respective limits we get the result as I have written in second line the second line is the expression for deflection okay the second line is expression for deflection for the beam with any magnitude of point load at point B okay any magnitude of point load only at point B now to compute a deflection of magnitude 150 kN we substitute P by 150 kilonewton and we perform the integration process the integration leads us to know that Delta B that is deformation or deflection at point B is equal to 0 0.01975 meters or 19.75 millimeters from which we can conclude that the point B deflects 19.75 or 19.75 millimeters downward due to point load 150 kilonewton load okay that was this the deflection problem for Castigliano theorem okay guys this was the video for Castigliano theorem uh, if you have any comments or compliment please write down below don't forget to subscribe the channel and please do share this video to your friends to if you our guys if you guys are in learning phase okay and thank you thank you guys see you in the next video on Zainapal